Local emergency management leaders say the road to recovery post-hurricane is a long one. They say South Carolina experienced a historic flood in 2016. A year later, the Carolinas were hit by Hurricane Matthew. And now in 2018, they fear some areas will have up to 40 inches of rainfall from Hurricane Florence. There are individuals that had not recovered from the events the previous events that are being re-impacted. State volunteers with the Salvation Army and voluntary organizations active in disaster or VOAD are waiting for Florence to pass through before getting to work. Opening up the shelters, providing uh, uh, the uh, feeding assistance, uh, basically trying to create safe uh, places for those that are in the areas that are evacuating. The Salvation Army says volunteers are prepared to feed up to 78,000 people daily through 52 mobile feeding units. They are self-contained. Each of those feeding units can feed up to 1,500 people a day. And so it's a lot of people, it's a lot of capacity, and they're all on standby right now waiting. These units are self-contained. You don't need a power source to be able to cook inside. Volunteers say the best way to help if you aren't in a disaster relief organization is through a monitor donation. It's by far the easiest way to go ahead and get supplies out there because we can still typically be able to supply um, to buy supplies locally. We don't want people to become a part of the problem by self deploying, uh, getting in and that they don't have a place to stay. They don't know the areas to go to. Uh, the areas are not deemed uh, safe and accessible. They're asking those that feel compelled to donate to text storm to 5155 or by visiting www.helpsalvationarmy.org.